Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm excited for today because I love talking about thrifting. It's one of my favorite things to do and it's kind of one of my favorite things to talk about. I wanted to somehow incorporate thrifting with fall, but it's kind of hard because, you know, if I go out thrifting, I'm gonna find things different than you might find, you know? So I thought I could talk about how to incorporate everyday items into your fall decor, things that everybody can find at the thrift store, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys, this is a new find. This is something I haven't shown you yet, and it's this amazing basket. I picked this up this weekend at our thrift store, and when I saw it, my immediate thought was how amazing this would be for storage, but I was also thinking how beautiful this could be displayed with some kind of fall throw coming out of it. So I'm gonna show you guys some ideas that I had, and then we will get into the next item. since we're on the topic of baskets and you guys know I'm a broken record when I talk about baskets at the thrift store. I probably have somewhere around 100 baskets in my house and one of them, I'm pretty sure one, was not thrifted. So I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways you can style baskets, more specifically some that you can have as like centerpieces. I found this one not too long ago and I felt that this would be a perfect way to display something on your coffee table. You could also display it on your dining table. That's what I'm gonna show you guys right now is just a few different ways that you can style different kinds of baskets. I wanted to just pop on real quick and say you're going to see quite a few of the same items I'm using as examples as far as decor goes, but that's because I really just wanted to share examples of what kind of decor you could style with these different thrifted items. I also wanted to explain why I leave a lot of my stickers or price tags on, and that's because in future videos it helps me remember where I purchase my items so that I'm able to share my sources with you. So sorry if that gets a little annoying, but I will have all of the decor items you see in this video linked below in my description box.
vintage books are a must in fall decor. All I ever see on Pinterest is books with pumpkins and books with fall decor. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. It's just a few different ways that you can style some old books. I also have a tip for you. If you missed my last video, I did a Dollar Tree fall DIY where I show you guys how I distress books. So if you go to the thrift store, you can find a book for a dollar or two and maybe you want it to look old and aged to give it more of a rustic vibe to go with your fall decor. Anyway, go back and watch that video and I'll show you guys how to distress your books. It's a really easy process. So don't get discouraged if you go to the thrift store and you can't find old aged looking books because there's definitely ways around that and they're really easy DIYs. The next one I want to talk about, the word is slipping my mind. What is this? It's like a basket. It's like a basket. What is it? I'm going to feel really stupid, but I'm just going to continue on. So this thing, this thing right here, I have picked up several at our thrift store and I love these during the fall. I feel like they're beautiful, especially to have maybe outside with some of your fall decor. Obviously you can have them inside too, but I'm going to show you guys right here a few different ways that you can style these. I love to style within my fall decor are cutting boards. So I'm going to show you guys a few different ways you can have these as like a focal point on your dining table or wherever you want some kind of centerpiece. But I'll also show you guys different ways that I've styled mine this year. love an old wooden chair on a front porch. I feel like that just kind of screams fall. And even if you find one that's kind of 
like not the right color. These are very easy to paint, very easy to make look old and distressed. There's a lot of things you can do to an old wooden chair, but I feel like these are perfect on a porch or it would be great tucked in a little nook in the house. Lots of different ways you can style these. So I'm gonna show you guys a few right here. Kind of on the same subject, but a stool, like an old wooden stool. I just recently picked one of those up and you can kind of style them the same as you would a wooden chair, but I'm gonna show you guys a few different options of ways you can style a wooden stool. I wasn't sure if I was going to include this in this video, but this wreath behind me is actually something I thrifted last week and I got it for, I think it was 75 cents. I want to say the cheaper it is, the more proud I am of it. So I, I'm going to go with, it was three quarters. Okay. It had some not so cute flowers on it. So I just plucked them off. I glued some Dollar Tree stems on it. Again, that's in my last video. If you already saw that, then you know what I'm talking about, but I believe you can find a wreath at any thrift store you walk into. They always have tons of these. So that's definitely something you could find and then kind of just DIY yourself. So I'm going to show you guys an up close of this in case you missed it in the last video. Another must have for fall is something to display your different stems or florals that you have. I don't think it's possible to have fall vibes in your house without a variety of florals. So I'm going to show you guys a few different bases, I guess you could call them, but I wanted to show you guys a few different ways you can style your fall stems. Because we're talking about fall, I feel like I need to include this in this video because I get asked all the time where I got my propane pumpkin. So you probably have seen those on Pinterest if you've been on Pinterest at all and you're searching fall or Halloween decor, especially outdoor decor, these propane pumpkins are really popular. So a few years ago, I thrifted this for $10 
Again, you can find these kind of anywhere. I would go on Facebook Marketplace if you want to find one, but I just drew a little face on one and then painted within the lines with some black paint. Super easy DIY. But again, I wanted to include this because it was thrifted. It's technically a fall item, kind of more Halloween, but something I wanted to include in this video. Before we leave, I wanted to show you guys a few fall pieces that I did find. Don't hate me, but I wanted to show you guys in this video because where else would I show you? Look at this. This is ginormous. Okay. It's a giant leaf. I'm going to show you guys a better angle of this, but it has two candle holders right here. Big enough to fit like a leaves candle from Bath and Body Works. And it just has a ton of beautiful stems and pumpkins. So, and for three bucks, I feel like that was definitely worth it. I've got two more. This is definitely more Halloween but this says potions and spells on it. It's just like a little treat bucket and there's batteries in there. So obviously it might make some kind of sound. This was $1. I should probably go put some batteries in and see what it does, but I just thought this would be so fun to display some candy in. And the last little thing, I thought this was so cute. It's a little jack-o'-lantern and you can obviously just stick like a little tea light candle in there. One buck, can't beat that. So anyway, those were a few of my recent finds that I wanted to share with you guys in this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. We're just going full blown fall. I don't know if you got the memo, but everything on my channel lately has been fall and Halloween. And I don't really see that changing anytime soon. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in the next video.